There are several reasons why remote usability testing is so convenient and loved among UX researchers. It's faster, cheaper, and a lot more flexible than in-person testing. However, it also requires a big amount of preparation to make sure everything goes according to the plan. In this video, we'll go through some of the key things to keep in mind when preparing for and conducting a remote usability test with users. Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to UX Tweaks channel. Today we've gathered four practical tips to ensure the success of your remote usability testing study. Let's not waste any time and jump right into it. Our first tip. To ensure that your study is ethical and you're able to use the data from usability tests and further research, it's important that the participants sign the consent forms prior to each testing session. In an unmoderated test, we recommend that you put these forms before a screening question so that until the participant agrees with the terms, they are not allowed into the study. Similarly, in moderated tests, we recommend letting participants sign up for the test only after they sign all the needed consent forms. Signing a consent form will help to establish trust, make sure that your research process is fair, and the participants are well informed about what's going to happen. Tip number two. Don't forget to always test your study before it goes out to the respondents. This way you can catch any mistakes, readability issues, and confusing tasks before the study goes live to a large number of participants. You can run a pilot version of your usability test on a friend or a colleague who did not participate in the process of creating a study. This will help make sure that everything works as intended and estimates how long the study will take to complete. On to our third tip. Make sure that the participants show up by sending them reminders about the session. We all understand how easy it is to get caught up in your daily tasks and forget about something important. If you use a good online tool, the reminders will be automated. However, always check it. If you want people to spend some of their time on your test, it's your responsibility to remind them and make sure they save a spot in their calendar for you. When it comes to moderated usability tests, it's enough to remind them once a couple of days before the study and then follow up on the day of the study a couple of hours before the test. You can do this via email and also provide instructions on how to connect to the call. With unmoderated tests, participants usually get a specific time frame during which they should complete a study. Remind them about the test a day or two before the window for completing the study closes. This leads us to our last tip. Recruit extra. Depending on the importance of the study and urgency, we recommend recruiting an extra 10 to 20% of participants than needed. Recruiting extra participants will provide a buffer in unmoderated studies for unexpected issues that may arise during the study. For example, if there are technical difficulties or if they are not able to complete the study for some reason, having extra participants will help to ensure that you still gather enough data to draw meaningful conclusions. In moderated studies, there is also the possibility that even after all your reminders, some participants don't show up. If you recruit a couple extra, you'll have a backup and won't have to stall the entire test. And those were all of our tips for today. If you're looking for a good usability testing tool to conduct your remote studies, take a look at UX Tweak. With us, you can not only test websites, but also mobile apps and design prototypes. UX Tweak also provides help with recruiting, so you don't have to worry about having enough participants for your study. We are here to help you combat usability issues. So create a free account and get started today. Now like and subscribe to watch more UX related videos and hopefully see you next time.